Is it crazy to have a bunch of the same colorway of one particular team? How many jerseys is too many? Yes, it is a collection video. This one's gonna be an exciting one for me just because I pulled these out of the bin, out of my closet. A lot of them I don't see on a day-to-day -day basis, so it's kind of fun just strolling through memory lane and just seeing like what I have in the collection. So let's get into it. I would like to blame my dad for this addiction because he was the influence in creating me into a Yankees fan. What's crazy is he's from the Philippines, wasn't even from America, but that New York symbol right here was symbolic for him to make it to America. My pops was always a fan from afar, and when he finally got to America, he was a huge fan of Don Mattingly, but his all-time favorite player is Paul O'Neill. So when I was growing up, this is all I watched, and whenever it was able to be televised on TV, we were on it like glue. And before we get started, I know someone's gonna be in the comments saying, hey, Yankees fans don't wear names on the back. I get it. Traditionally, they don't wear the names on the back, but with the replica runs, which is based off of what they wear on field, it's just a fan-friendly option. It's budget-friendly. People like it because they get the name on the back, and I get it. It doesn't go with tradition, but it is what it is. Whatever you want to buy, whatever. For me, personally, I don't mind it just because you know, I love the supporting cast players, and so if I wear a 24, I don't want you to think I'm wearing Gary Sanchez. I want it to be Tino Martinez, depending on the run. I wish I had that jersey though. 31, I don't want you thinking I'm wearing Aaron Hicks. It's an Ichiro run. So that's just one of those things that I personally like, I don't mind. A lot of people, when you go watch games, they got it. You just got to get with the times. Now they got sponsor patches now. Like, and we got a pitch clock, so. And some of these jerseys in the collection is when I was collecting as a young adult and kid. Let's get into it. So first, this one, my favorite Yankees player, Brett Gardner. Always hustled left-handed, and I'm left-handed, so I'm keen to it. But I love their spring training runs. I don't know, maybe this is why I love navy blue so much, is because of the Yankees colorway. So it's my favorite colorway to wear. This one's a majestic run, beautiful colorway. I like the cool base that they had on this. Man, I wanna wear this more often, but this one's a size small and I'm way too big for this. So yeah, let's not ruin it, but I wanna keep it intact. Let's go ahead and look at the stack pile. If you don't know who this is, number 41, this is an authentic, majestic run. 41, the big unit, Randy Johnson. I was always a fan of the big unit, pause. Not like that, but you know, he was a killer. I mean, dude, so tall, high velocity, was a killer in Seattle, and it was great to see him in pinstripes. So, when he wasn't on Seattle, I was like, yeah, we need him. Look at that. Oh, man, I forget I have this. The thing with like the older things in my collection, I bought like a bunch of them like super big. There was the days where you're wearing 2XL and I'm like 5'6 only. So baggy was the thing to do. But 41, crazy. Let's, you know, Randy Johnson, dude. Ooh, okay. This one I got more recently when they signed him. Garrett Cole, 45, authentic run. You can see that little drop tail. Never made sense to me, but it is what it is. Another pinstripe jersey, easily. Number 99, this is a Nike replica run. Judge, of course. But look at it. Everyone knows what 99 is, so I think I'm gonna stick with, I have another one in this pile that is 99 without the name. So I might have to let this one loose. This one's still new in tag, so I like it, but I'm gonna keep the uh, the one without the name on it. This one's another spring training run. Big fan of DJ LeMahieu, even though he's struggling this year. I mean, he had some really great years and great utility player. Love people that like are ready to play any position. And uh, he just goes out there, even though he sucks this year. DJ LeMahieu. Ooh, this one, number 11, this one's a majestic ring. Look at these tags right here. Oh, I love that one. That era of uh, jock tag is super sick. 11, Brett Gardner, another one. But if I wear it out, I could say it's Anthony Volpe. No one wouldn't even know the difference. <laughs> this one, oh man, one of the few road grays that I have, but this has the Hall of Fame patch. So if you don't know, oh wait, there's no patch on the other side. It's the captain. Number two, Derek Jeter. 
I can't bring myself to wear this one outside because it's too nice. So I keep this one nice and tucked away. Oh, this one is so good. All right. One of probably my favorite Yankees pitcher of all time. When I was growing up, I was a huge fan of the big leg kick. So it's a replica run with the name on the back because I could not ever find like a 26 without it. But I want people to know it's Orlando Hernandez El Duque. Man, like I'm always going to remember that play because I was watching on TV where the ball gets stuck right in his hands and he just throws his whole glove to Tino Martinez. And man, this guy was so clutch in the playoffs and just like key wins it he is ridiculous in the playoffs el duque my favorite player as a pitcher and i also keep it up there el duque autograph that's the man right there that is the man Ooh, that's sick all right Ugh, i forgot i had this one andrew benintendi i thought he was going to be great for the yankees um just because he's a solid contact hitter but he didn't even sign back, so uh, this one's a size small. I think I got it for like 20 bucks, so definitely got to get rid of this one. Um, I shouldn't have got that one. <laughs> and then this one, I'm a huge fan of DD DD Gregorius, left-handed. I love his swing. I mean, I thought he was a nice stopgap at shortstop. It was hard to play after Jeter, so I mean, he did what he could, and he had some clutch moments for the Yankees. And super chill, dude. Didi Gregorius, what I loved about this particular jersey, I got it with the postseason patch, which was sick. Ah, old Majestic runs, beautiful. And then another one that I had as a kid, Jeter, with the name on the back, so I might get angry for y'all people that trip over it. This one, one of my favorite outfielders, Curtis Granderson. Man, that guy had a glove, could hit, hit some bombs and ah, Curtis Granderson. Dang, I forgot. Ooh, beautiful. I love that jock tag. Just beautiful. Forgot I had that one. <clears throat> this one rode gray with the camo. So it was a special weekend for this camo jersey. I loved it with the hat. But number 24, Robinson Cano. <sighs> I thought he was super slick and smooth. Uh, at second base and I, I admired that like when they had Teixeira, Cano, Jeter, A-Rod like what a crazy time to, to be a Yankees fan that defense in the infield ridiculous speaking Mark Teixeira 25 man beautiful love Mark Teixeira another guy who's like he saved so many asses like this guy the way he would pick um and scoop up balls like whoo that guy was great this one right here cc sabathia another majestic replica run oh wait is this a nike run no it's a majestic run all right beautiful oh man love cc sabathia left-handed i have an affinity for left-handed but he was also in my part of the neck of the woods so he was out in the east bay so which is in cali CC Sabathia loved it. I loved his progression when he couldn't throw heaters anymore as he got fatter, older. Like his breaking stuff was nice and he was always ready in the playoffs. Like I loved CC. This one, 46. Another left handed. Do you guys know? Of course. 46, Andy Pettit, sickest like pickoff move, man. I just remember growing up like, yo, his pickoff move pickoff moves were so slick and came with the world series patch i think i got this maybe a couple years ago it's just beautiful andy pettit and then this guy's struggling this year God. 27 john carlo stanton i mean he was nice to have in the first couple years but man that salary and hitting like under 200 disappointing me man disappointing me and this one how can i not have this in a collection 42 you know it mariano rivera my goodness it's an authentic run size 40 so it's kind of like a, a, a medium but 
got a little length to it it's an older run beautiful come on this guy's cutter and high fastball ridiculous all right this one right here a rod i mean i was able to meet a rod personally just when i was working out here so i thought he was super chill really nice down to earth i was like man big fan ever since um i wasn't a fan initially when he came to the yankees but hey he did what he did in 2009 without him going off in the playoffs they don't win the championship so much credit to him this one my personal favorites ichiro man first off japanese player like two it's so rare when you get it nowadays but like seeing someone from the international like game translate well in the mlb ridiculous and he was such a killer in seattle amazing arm man ichiro I'm just happy to see him in pinstripes so i love that the name's on the back just so you don't think i'm wearing aaron hicks because that guy sucks <laughs> i don't want to be too mean but yeah but ichiro beautiful to have love that jersey just a little small for me right now and then another one man brett gardner obviously look favorite can't go wrong with that number two right here Whoop. Derek Jeter, authentic run, beautiful. And then this one comes with the patch, Yankee Stadium patch. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, I love that the batter man here is like embroidered. Like that material here is nice. And this one right here, another 11. But with this, I bought it off eBay and it has, they said they personally got Brett Gardner to sign it. So I'm gonna actually have to get that authenticated. It looks like his signature. So, and I don't think anyone wants to like, who's gonna like want a Brett Gardner <laughs> signature forged. So I feel like people would forge like all the big names, but that one, I kind of believe it, but I'll get it authenticated. This one, I've always kind of, um i got it as a gift it's another a rod jersey but i don't know if this is legit or not i'm kind of leaning towards not so i might let go of it um yeah majestic run i don't know it just feels a little light i don't know but it's an a rod jersey so i might toss that one this one gary sheffield loved him on the yankees i love that like uh his batting stance and this guy would hit lasers. Gary Sheffield, number 11. Oh, forgot I had this one. Masahiro Tanaka, they had these replica runs um, with the Japanese name on the back. Look at that, New York Road Gray. Just a little small for me right now. And the thing with these, um, so the front stitched down, like these are stitched down, but these replica runs, I've seen oh, like Nike make it with Otani, but these are like screen printed. So I might let this one go. I don't know. I'll keep it maybe. Ooh. So this one, 51, Bernie Williams. It's a practice jersey from Mitchell Ness. Love that one. I mean, loyal Yankee. Man, can't go wrong with that. And then Masahiro Tanaka, another pitcher that I was a big fan of. Killer splitter, I believe. I think he had a splitter, but man, this guy. Whew, we're running down to the very end. This one, another spring training run, authentic run, nothing on the back. And ooh, one of my favorite pitchers, man. Mike Messina, that knuckle curve, ridiculous. And that guy on defense and just winning gold gloves. Amazing, amazing. And he has the same name, best name in the world. Just kidding, Mike Messina. And then we're rounding it off with another 42, Mariano Rivera. Beautiful, just a little long, just a 44 or so just long 
a little baggier with these older rods, but beautiful 42. And then I beat this jersey up all the time because I love it. Hideki Matsui, Godzilla. I mean, my goodness, what a time. And shoot, that World Series run with like seven RBIs in the one game, like, my goodness, he was my hero. Hideki Matsui, Godzilla, man, let's get Otani. I almost forgot about these. I keep these in bags. First off, oh, let's go to this one. This one right here. So this one is player issued. So player issued, basically, they would have this in the wings just in case, you know, jerseys ripped, got dirty, or, or screwed up. These were in the wings and just ready for that particular player. Number 11, Brett Gardner. Oh, man. All right. So with this, with the number 16 patch, beautiful. And this one's actually stitched down onto the jersey. Beautiful. And then let's look at the jock tag. So has all the authentication from the MLB. Ooh. And Fanatics, jock tag, beautiful. Just knowing that this was supposed to be for Brett Gardner. Love it, love this jersey. Worth every penny. And this one, oh, another one. Another player issue jersey, number, ooh, number 16 patch. We're going back to number 11. It's another Brett Gardner. I bought the, the duo jerseys that are player issued all the authentication right through here my goodness both one of these jerseys that man i was so juiced to get and lastly keeping this one in the bag as well but right here old flex base so with this jersey man um it's a mod, mod, majestic majestic authentic 99 you know who it is aaron judge so with these they kind of feel similar to um the nike runs they're similar but like little slightly differences with the 2017 postseason patch beautiful stitch down and man the only thing i didn't like about this jersey i bought this second hand someone was collecting them there's like red stains at the top like slightly red stains up here make sure to always ask like hey is there any flaws to it so it was just one of those weird things but still a beautiful jersey um man especially with the postseason patch super dope they also had that drop tail on the majestic runs ah <sighs> gotta keep this one safe because who knows this might be rare in the future to top it all off, the jersey that has the most value in this collection is my 2009 roster autographed like blank jersey. So blank jersey and pretty much someone collected all the signatures. So you got Jeter, you got A-Rod, you got Posada, you got Joe Girardi. Yeah, we need a coach like that again. But you know, Hideki Matsui, Mariano Rivera, man, beautiful jersey. <sighs> love that one there's a couple jerseys that i'm missing like i want to add to this i know alfonso soriano was one of my favorite players even though he couldn't play second base for his life um tino martinez i'm like looking at a list that i wrote down that i have tino martinez paul o'neill i would love to get one of those jerseys um shane spencer that guy what what a ridiculous run i, I would love that i think he wore 47 and i think that's a cool number um jeff nelson I love the little sidearm he had. It, it was dope. Um, Ricky Henderson. If I can get a Ricky Henderson, that'd be amazing because best base stealer of all time. Another one that I really want is a Willie Randolph jersey. Um, when I was growing up, he was a third base coach. So that's how I knew him. And I thought he was a ridiculously great third base coach. Didn't make like mistakes when it came to like making decisions for base running. But you know, I didn't even know he was captain before. I didn't know that. I mean, I he was playing before my time, but I thought he was great and I've always wanted one of his jerseys. That would be a dope one. Um, Daryl Strawberry, home run hitter, ready to fight. Love that. Like he was always super cool. Um, Nick Swisher. I don't know why I can't find a Nick Swisher one. I liked him. 
he's super like cool chill type dude so i thought he was always funny on his interview so i gotta get me one of those and then two more luis soho and my dad was always laughing at him um i just i think he like tripped over his shoes while throwing like he's ridiculously funny but man he was on the championship roster love that one and the another one that i was thinking of that i've always kind of wanted i don't know why i gravitated towards ricky lede but he was an outfielder uh for the yanks um uh, man i don't know i liked his batting stance i really did so those are a couple things that i do want to add on and i gotta add on more and that's pretty much my Yankees jersey collection. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you're a fellow Yankees fan, let's go Yanks. Hopefully this new hitting coach can get us back on track and maybe we make some moves during the deadline. Who knows? Who knows? But hey, thanks again for watching guys and on to the next video.